Hey, welcome back to the channel. And we are back with another weekly wears video where I go over every single fragrance that I wore all seven days last week. So if that's content that you think you want to see more of, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications. So you are updated whenever I upload something new. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's jump right into the list, starting with Sunday. So I recently did a video of first impressions, essentially, of this fragrance. The reason I was curious about this one is because I've heard a lot of YouTubers talk about it. I've seen it pop up on my Instagram. My entire algorithm on my Instagram feed, if you guys don't follow me, be sure to do so, Boston underscore accents on Instagram. But a lot of stuff on my feed, you know, revolving around this particular fragrance. So I needed to try it. I grabbed it, got it for a great price. Scent I am talking about is Gris Chanel from BDK Parfums. Great atomizer on here. This is a beautiful blend of cardamom and iris. Super classy smelling scent, upscale, sophisticated. I It reminds me of just being dressed up, put together, college shirt, slacks, nice shoes, going to the office. But it also has this little bit of a, I don't know, almost sexy edge to it. And uh, believe it or not, I think this is a unisex fragrance. For me, iris, does tend to lean a little bit masculine. I don't know why. It's just something I associate with masculinity. One of those things that can be sort of versatile. It's a floral, but it's a little bit pottery. It smells clean. It adds a freshness. Uh, and this thing is just amazing. I love, again, that blend of the cardamom, the sweet spiciness of the cardamom, along with that iris. There's a little bit of vanilla in here. There's some sandalwood, some fig, adding a little bit of fruitiness up top. Incredible fragrance. This is an eau de parfum concentration. It lasted all day on me when I wore it and I got really good longevity. It doesn't project like a beast. I don't think it's meant to do that. I think it's meant to sort of be, again, a little buttoned up, a little sophisticated and just an incredible fragrance overall. I really love the juice color, as I mentioned in that video. It's almost like this olive green slash gray. So pretty cool. Great scent overall, BDK Parfums, Gris Chanel. On Monday, I had to reach for what I sort of associate as being a winter gem, cooler weather, because it is so sweet. Scent I am talking about is Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Now, this is a tester bottle. I did own this at one point. I traded it away. I'll get into that in a minute. Not a bad atomizer. Vanilla and incense. A little bit of smoky vibes here uh, along with that vanilla. But the vanilla is very sweet. It's, again, a unisex fragrance. The ladies can wear this. I would love to smell this on my wife. However, she hates vanilla. In most cases, there's some vanillas that she does enjoy. Joe Malone's Vetiver and Golden Vanilla. She likes that one because the Vetiver sort of balances out the sweetness of the vanilla. And in that sense, the sweetness, it, it's, it's a different type of vanilla. It's not that sweet. Um, but I digress. This one is very sweet. She associates it to like vanilla frosting and I can, I can see that. But again, the incense in here blends well. It, I get more incense than she does. And I just think this is a really not overly complex, versatile vanilla scent. It's, this is great for layering. You could layer this with other fragrances. I would imagine, I'm sure you guys have some combos that you've done before with this one. I traded it away because my wife didn't like it, but I said, you know what? I like it. I'm just going to have to pick and choose the right times to wear this one. And a little bit cool of the weather. It reminds me of the fall, winter time, leaves falling, incredible fragrance. And I get pretty good longevity from this one. Uh, maybe six or seven hours. Not a big projector, but don't be afraid to spray this one a little bit heavier. Great scent, Mercedes-Benz Club Black. I just realized I'm featuring a couple iris fragrances on this list. This next one, iris-based fragrance. Again, perfect for the office, perfect for work. Clean, sophisticated scent I'm talking about is Avant Garde from Reefs. Now, this is actually a clone fragrance or inspired by fragrance of Prada Lone. Not the best atomizer, but I don't feel the need to own Prada Lome. This is Prada Lome to my nose. Uh, 
just that clean iris, a little bit soapy, a little bit woody, almost that sort of dryer sheet feel, uh, syntheticness in the background. It has this really nice creaminess to it, which again adds to that soapiness. Versatile fragrance, type of fragrance that if you can only own one fragrance, this might be the one you guys decide to own because it is so versatile. You could wear this to a dressed up event, you could wear this to work, you could wear this casually. This is gonna work casually, this is gonna work all year round. So it, it they, th this isn't one of the better uh, clone fragrances that I own because not just because it's so close to what it's trying to replicate the qualities there it doesn't really sacrifice quality at least not to my nose I, it doesn't smell overly synthetic or cheap and this thing is around $30 I want to say retail I, I do have a code for them I'll link it down below it's just a great riff no pun intended reefs sorry that was bad uh off of Prada alone this is a Middle Eastern clone and it just does the job. Great scent, avant-garde from Reefs. On Wednesday, I reached for probably one of the best rack store finds this year that I've had. If not the best, I was blown away with how good this thing is. It is so incredible and I'm so glad I stumbled across it and gave it a chance. I blind bought it and it was worth it. It was under hundred bucks. I think I found it at a TJ Maxx. Scent I'm talking about is Loewe Essentia Eau de Parfum. And immediately you're gonna get the comparison to Creed Aventus. Great atomizer on here as well. However, this is more lush greenness when you first spray this. It makes it feel a little deeper than the Aventus, a little more complexity to it. I love this stuff. This stuff compliment monster for me. Whenever I wear this, I get a compliment. It's just one of those scents that's super likable, but a little bit grown up, a little bit mature, not in the sense that it smells old smelling. It's not that it's just, it's kind of like you, you got your crap together. You make the scent, the scent isn't making you. And that's the best way to wear fragrance. In my opinion, you shouldn't expect anything when you put a fragrance on, it should just be sort of the finishing touches and this does that beautifully fantastic fragrance i get great longevity from this not a, again not a big projector but over the course of the day i'm getting wafts of this uh little waves of it reminding me that it's there smells great essentia from loewe this is the eau de parfum so on thursday i was actually kind of combing my rack store getting footage looking for gems and i came across a contra fragrance so I didn't grab it, but I tested it that day. I wore it. It's another clone of a Parfums de Marly fragrance, which in this case, they are cloning Pegasus. It's a good clone of Pegasus. I like this one. It's not my favorite of the ones that I've tried, but it has that almondy, powdery, metallic vibe that Pegasus has. One of the things that has blown me away specifically about the Contra fragrances has been the quality for what you're getting for literally a $14 fragrance. I did a giveaway on Contra Men Only Intense, which is a fantastic clone of Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum. That thing is incredible. If you guys see that one, try it. I think you're gonna like it. I also tried their clone of Layton, which again, I was blown away with how good that smelled. Smelled incredible. So those fragrances, really well done for the price. Ferris is no exception. If you guys see it out, definitely give it a try. This one lasted all day on me. The other thing, they project fantastic for the first hour or two, a couple hours. They're projecting like beasts. They're Middle Eastern clones. They're fragrances that you can get at your local rack store for 15 bucks. If budget is a concern, if money is tight and you still wanna smell good, get them. Cause they smell fantastic. You don't need to buy all of them, pick your favorite. The, the best part is you can actually try them, spray them on, walk around the store. They're usually the loose bottles at TJ Maxx and Marshall. So I enjoyed this one. It was really good. I think you guys will too. Pharos from Contra. So on Friday, I reached for this one that I just recently picked up in my last rack store haul. This one, guys, if you see it, definitely give it a thought because this one I was really surprised by. Since I'm talking about is Coach Green. This 
this is a couple of you guys talked about this in the comments of that video that I did. And this is going to remind you of Dio Sauvage, but it adds some uniqueness to it. It has this fruity kiwi up top. Some of you called it a green version of Sauvage. I can see that. The bottom line is Sauvage smells good. People are going to try to convince you that it's overdone. It's overplayed. Yeah, a lot of guys do wear it. I just like the twist that they put on it with this. It, it I wasn't expecting it. That kiwi up top really smells fantastic. It has this almost earthiness to it. Fruity, sweet, beautiful. Really well done for such an inexpensive fragrance. And it's kind of a guilty pleasure in a way because, you know, with all this fragrance talk and breaking down fragrances, you're kind of looking for something different and super unique. This isn't super unique, but it just does the job really well. And I would say that this is perfect for any situation. You can wear this casual, you can wear this to an event, you can wear this to the office, school, whatever. It's gonna fit every single situation that you find yourself in. I got really good longevity the day I wore it. Not great, doesn't last eight to 10 hours, but you know, this is one that you can spray a little heavier, spray your clothes, it's gonna last longer. And I got some nice projection from this. I could still smell it hours after after applying it and it just smelled great. So really happy to have added this to the collection. It's a little 40 ml, but you can get the 100 ml for a pretty good price. Worth it, in my opinion. I will link that down below. Coach Green, great scent. Finally, on Saturday, I took my daughter to the trampoline park. I saw this sitting on the shelf. I said, you know what? That might be a good time to reach for this one. The scent I'm talking about is Stronger With You from Giorgio Omani. And the reason I thought of this scent, it's just really playful. It's sweet. It's fun. It's not too buttoned up or sophisticated. But for a sweet scent, it's really well put together. It is a thoughtful scent. You, It has a freshness to it. Very sweet, very sweet. It also utilizes a chestnut note in here, which adds a true nuttiness to the scent. And I really enjoy that part. So it's sweet, it's nutty, it's woody, and it's fresh. And I am a sucker for all that combination right there. I am a sucker for, and it just does it better than most. And there's a lot of fragrances sort of on this trend of fresh and sweet, fresh and sweet. This does it to this day, better than all of them, in my opinion, even better than a lot of the flankers from this line. It doesn't get talked about or hyped as much as some of the others in the line, like absolutely and intensely and some of the other harder to find flankers. This one works just as well, smells incredible and it lasts, projects really nicely for hours, lasts all day. Great performer, stronger with you from Giorgio Armani. That's all I have today, guys. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what your weekly rotation was. Always love hearing what you guys are wearing. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. <music>